Good afternoon, and welcome back to another episode of the Grimaldo Group, where we love helping families create wealth through home ownership. My name is Angel Ramos, and today we have a special guest, Fabiola Rangel, also known as Fabi, all the way from San Diego, California. How are you, Fabi? Yeah. I'm doing great, Angel. Thank you again for making the time to chat a little bit this morning. Awesome. And so Fabiola, we met in Las Vegas recently at the Keller Williams Family Reunion, which is the uh, nationwide, not nationwide, international. Uh, yeah. There were people from all over the world. Uh, for those of you that do not know, Keller Williams has a presence in about, I think it's 56 countries. If more yes. Uh, so there were people from all over the world at which we connected. Uh, but I got to meet Fabiola. And I lived in San Diego, and that's where we kind of hit it off, uh, and we wanted mm -hmm. to have this opportunity. So, Fabi, how, how long have you been a realtor or a real estate agent, should I say? Yes. So, I've been in real estate for the last five years, um, and I started, my career started when I was uh, still in college, actually. So, I was going to San Diego State at the time. I came down here eight years ago. It's, I can't believe it's already been eight years. Uh, just to go to school, San Diego State. And my senior year, I got a, a call from a friend and she said, hey, you know, there's looking, there's some part-time work if you want while you're going to college uh, at a brokerage here in La Jolla, if you want to check it out. And so do you want me to go into that? I don't, I don't know how much time. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, it, it, I like talking about entrepreneurship because yeah. being a real estate agent is you're running your own business, you're affiliated. Exactly brokerage but you mm -hmm. are in the driver's seat and as a young woman because you must have started at 12 years old <laughs> I think I started younger than that because my my parents have always they bought a small manufactured home in my my hometown of Santa Barbara California um, and at the time my mom was like I don't want to buy that house it's run down uh you know and my dad uh, being the man that he is, you know, saw an opportunity to buy this manufactured home. And he said, Yo lo puedo hacer. I can do it. I can buy this house. We'll fix it up. And my dad is a commercial and residential painter. So he knew he can have people come and help him. And my uncle did construction. So they bought this little house in Santa Barbara, fixed it up. And that was the start of their real estate journey. And that was really the start of where we as a family started to learn about real estate. So I guess you could say I was around like five or six years old when I really was just watching my parents uh, tour homes. And we had a realtor for a long time called Manny, named Manny Hernandez, rest in peace, Manny Hernandez. Um, so he was also a Latino from, from the area of Santa Barbara, Ventura. So I have been surrounded by real estate for a very long time. And it's funny that I used to complain about going to showings with my parents and all these things and looking at houses. And now that's what I do for a living. <laughs> awesome. Now, yeah. if you're from Santa Barbara, why are you living in San Diego? Yeah. So um grew up in Santa Barbara. I was playing soccer for a number of years. And during my last year, I went to community college before I came down here to San Diego State. Um, I was just looking to to continue my education and when I traveled down to San Diego, it was always for soccer. So I didn't really know the city, but I got an opportunity to tour the university because I had a friend down here and she said, come check out San Diego. I know you only been here for soccer. Um, just come spend a weekend. And she was actually going to the University of um, UC San Diego. So it's a private university. Um, but she toured me around for the weekend and I absolutely loved San Diego. I had always just gone to Los Angeles or come down here maybe for a tournament or two. So I didn't spend a lot of time, but that weekend I really was like, this is a beautiful place to live. So that's what brought me down here. School and just the amazing environment that San Diego has. Mm -hmm. well, I, mean, I, I I had the privilege uh, to live in San Diego for 20, yeah. 23 years. So yeah. I definitely uh, concur with your assessment on San Diego. Even <laughs> I decided to, after retiring, because I was in law enforcement, as you know, yeah. to come to beautiful Phoenix, Arizona, which to me is an oasis in the desert. Mm -hmm. Going back to San Diego, you're based out, so your office, you're working out of La Jolla, correct? Yes. Yeah. Do you primarily focus on La Jolla, I take it, or you expand beyond La Jolla? 
So I cover all of San Diego County, uh, not just not just La Jolla. So we cover everything from south of uh, Orange County all the way to even places like uh, Murrieta, Temecula, because we have a lot of military clients who look out into those areas uh, for the affordability and still the, you know, the, I guess the commute aspect of being able to drive to places like Camp Pendleton. But we cover all of San Diego County from below Oceanside, Pendleton to the San Ysidro border. Mm -hmm. You're saying you're saying busy because that's that's a yeah, it's a large county. Yeah. But we can cover it all. We have um we have our calendar and everything's organized. So we're still able to service all of San Diego County. Are you part of a team or you were operating as a solo agent? So I'm one of the co-founders of Coastline Real Estate Group, and there's four of us. So oh. it's myself, Ray Frazier, Shaylee Gilliland, Kevin. Haggerty, uh, and our newest uh, buyer specialist, Beta. So it's a team, well, team of five now. So we're expanding. That's awesome. So, yeah. And uh, what do you see in in the future for you as a uh, real estate professional? That's a great question. I really want to focus on expanding my business with the Latino and Hispanic community. I feel like my background. Um, the fact that I do speak both languages fluently and just my experience in working with Latinos and my own family's journey of buying and selling real estate, that's something that really hits home for me when I'm able to help a family who didn't ever think that they could buy a home or their family, uh, you know, has been renting for a, a long time and their kids are just saying, you know, we want to break that generational um, you know, gap of not homeowning. So I really do. Uh, love working with my Hispanic and Latino clients. So in the future, I really want to have a whole aspect of my business fully functioning for that for that client. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the strong work ethic uh, and principles that you uh, your parents instilled in you are mm -hmm. paying off because now you're a young Hispanic woman entrepreneur and in the real estate profession. So. Uh, it, it's it's great to have someone like you because there is a need out there. I've encountered mm -hmm. young uh, young folks, and to be more specific, Hispanics that oftentimes, generation through generation, they've been paying rent, and it's kind of like they don't even give it thought as to home ownership. They don't really look that way because it's almost as if they assume that's not for me; that's for someone else. Exactly. And I think the way you've expressed yourself and the way you see the future is to definitely make a change in, mm -hmm. in a good direction. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're, you're young, you're not even 30 years old. If, if I, um, yeah, I'm 28. 28. I still have a couple more years before my thirties. So <laughs> you're very young and I think you are instrumental in paving the way in creating a positive impact for uh, your generation and, and and even the generations that are behind you to talk about home ownership and expand the, the uh, desire to be a part of uh, this world of home ownership, which is uh, an awesome thing to be a part of. And I appreciate your time. I kind of wanted to just briefly touch base. I know you're out of uh, the San Diego and we're mm -hmm. in Phoenix, but it's a family. This is why our convention, the Kate Keller Williams convention, yeah called Family Reunion. And how have you been a part of KW for how long now? I've been a part of KW for two and a half years now. Mm -hmm. What is your a, a take on being part of KW? Yeah. So when I was looking for a brokerage, I really wanted to find a brokerage that was going to align with my values as far as education goes. I was with a number of brokerages before and I felt like that piece was lacking a little bit. And so when I wanted to align with my broker, a brokerage, uh, that was my number one, um, because I'm really big on that. I'm big on that when my, in my consultations with my clients, buyer or seller and my marketing that I put out also on my YouTube channel. So when I was really wanting to find a brokerage, I wanted that to, to align with what I was trying to do. There's a number of classes that are always happening. KW there's the masterminds, the fact that KW has a Hispanic leaders and KWL community was uh, something that I had never seen before. And when I when I was able to meet with other Latino Spanish speaking realtors, I feel like that opened up my world to the possibilities of what my even my business could be. So 
I guess it's really that. It's the community that KW has built for people like us to just better our businesses. Awesome. And that's where we yeah. met. Yeah. And that's uh, where we met. And we had a great time. And I was like, I didn't, I hadn't, you know, it was, it was so refreshing. And and it's, you know, you never know who you're gonna meet, right? And it really yeah. it, it kind of just uh it's uplifting. It, it's mm -hmm. it brings motivation. You come back to the field and you're on fire. And then you continue to build relationships. And uh, and for everyone out there listening to us, Fabiola Rangel or Fabi mm -hmm. is based out of San Diego. If you or anyone that you know is looking to uh, connect with a realtor there, uh, please feel free to reach out to her or reach out to us. We collectively work together. Uh, and again, we're based in Phoenix, Arizona, but the K KW family is throughout the world. I recently mm -hmm. was helping someone in Milan, Italy, and then we connect with See? people in Europe, yeah. also Latin America. So I've been to San Miguel de Allende, working with Eric, who hopefully is hearing, uh, listening to us. Um, and he's based in San Miguel de Allende. So there is a big family out there. We can work collectively and create a positive impact for uh, the real estate community out there. Any, yeah. any last comments, questions, concerns? Concerns, no. I had a great time chatting with you and being able to just talk a little bit about where we're at, our businesses, You know, the fact that uh, we were able to connect with this amazing company that we work with, our brokerage that supports us so well, and the fact that we were able to chat a little bit today You know, sets my day up for success. So thank you so much for taking the time. All right. Well, Fabiola Rangel out of San Diego and Angel Ramos here in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona uh, from the Grimaldo Group. And we appreciate everyone that took the time to uh, tune in. Thank you and God bless.